YouTube. Um, as everyone knows, uh, question one failed in Maine, uh, actually passed in Maine, and American citizens use their right to vote to take away the rights of other American citizens in what I consider to actually be an illegal manner. The Constitution of the United States is supposed to allow for the pursuit of happiness and for the freedom of all its citizens and to introduce any measure on a federal or state level is to violate the core meaning of our Constitution of the United States, which in this case, I'm going to read to you something very important that I wrote about it. So the question I pose is, is our Constitution, Constitution worth the paper it is printed on if it does not afford all our citizens the protections clearly outlined in them? And if we are not going to follow that great document, why do we have it? I have great respect and love for the Constitution of the United States and my country. It is that love that compels me to write this. Some of you will see this as unpatriotic and sacrilege, but from my point of view, it is reminding this great nation of its rights and responsibilities to its citizens. So as a GOBTQ citizen not afforded full and equal protection under the law, this is my Declaration of Independence. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We, as the GOBTQ citizens of these United States, hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, all men, all women, all everyone are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes, and accordingly all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. <clears throat> but when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, invinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government or governmental practices and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these GOBTQ citizens, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the religious majority of this nation is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. They have refused to assent to laws the most wholesome and necessary for the public good. They have forbidden governors to pass laws of immediate and pressing importance unless suspended in their operation till their assent should be obtained, and when so suspended, they have utterly neglected to attend to them. They have moved to obstruct the passage of other laws for the accommodation and equal protection of large districts of people unless those people would relinquish the rights due to citizens of these United States to the purpose of happiness as they see fit, rights inestimable to them and formidable to tyrants only. <clears throat> they have called together legislators at places unusual, uncomfortable, and distant from the depository of their public records for the sole purposes of fatiguing them into compliance with their measures. They have seeked to dissolve our families, places of business, and representative organizations and legislators repeatedly for opposing with manly firmness their invasions on the rights of all people. They have refused for a long time after such dissolutions to cause others to be elected, whereby the legislative powers incapable of annihilation have returned to the people at large for their exercise. 
the GOBTQ citizens of these United States remaining in the meantime exposed to all the dangers of violence from without and violence and civil violation within, without legal recourse for these injuries. They have endeavored to prevent the population of these United States for that purpose, obstructing the laws for naturalization of foreigners, refusing to pass others to encourage their migrations hither on the basis of sexuality, and attempting to raise laws to set unfair conditions on safe and equal housing on the basis of sexuality alone. They have obstructed the administration of justice by refusing to assent to laws established by judici judiciary powers. They have seeked to block investigations into the molestation of our children by the Catholic Church. They have seeked to block full revelation of those who finance their political campaigns to restrict the civil liberties of GOBTQ citizens. They have made judges dependent on their will alone for the tenure of their offices and the amount of contributions to political campaigns and pressure to conform to their worldview. They hold a multitude of political offices and send hither officers to collect taxation from our citizens while denying those citizens the rights outlined at the head of this proclamation. They support and encourage the removal of the rights and protections of citizenship and the pursuit of happiness, including but not limited to protections for full and equal protections on employment, housing, and public services. They have affected to render the church independent and superior to the civil power. The church and conservative majorities have combined with others to subject us to a jurisdiction foreign to our constitution and unacknowledged by our laws, giving assent to their acts of pretended legislation and outright violation of our constitution. For amassing large bodies of political activists and transporting them across states' borders to advance their cause of imposing their religious views in matters of civil legislation and the stripping of rights from American citizens. For protecting those guilty of assaulting GOBTQ American citizens by a mock trial for punishment for any murders which they should commit on the GOBTQ inhabitants of these states. For imposing taxes on us without granting the full benefits due a citizen of these United States, including, but not limited to, the right to marry, adopt children, and live without fear of physical violence. For depriving us, in many cases, of the benefits of legal protections afforded a heterosexual majority, even when legal documents have been drawn up specifically outlining those protections. For invading the privacy of American citizens and infringing on their duties to serve in the military of these United States, solely on the basis of their GOBTQ status. For attempting to abolish the free system of laws in a neighboring state by religious or majority coercion, establishing therein a theocratic government of the majority and enlarging its boundaries so as to render it at once an example and fit instrument for introducing the same absolute rule into these states. For taking away our charters, abolishing our most valuable laws and altering fundamentally the forms of our governments for invalidating duly elected legislatures and declaring themselves invested with power to legislate for us all in all cases whatsoever. They have abdicated governmental exemption by declaring us without protection and waging war against us. They have plundered our government, ravaged our legal protections, and destroyed the lives of GOBTQ people on the basis of majority religious views. They are, at this time, still mobilizing large armies of individuals devoted to their cause of religious majority rule to complete the works of desolation and tyranny already begun with circumstances of cruelty and perfidy scarcely paralleled in the most barbarous ages and totally unworthy of a civilized nation. The religious and conservative authorities of this nation have excited domestic insurrections among us and have endeavored, through the use of their speech, to bring on the GOBTQ inhabitants of our nation physical violations and the attentions of merciless individuals who, whose known rule of warfare is an undistinguished destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. In every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A religious and conservative majority whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be the rulers of a free people. Nor have we been wanting in attentions to our brethren as citizens of these United States. We have warned them from time to time of attempts <clears throat> by their legislature to extend an unwarrantable jurisdiction over us. 
we have reminded them of the circumstances of our origins as a community and our goals as full citizens under the law. We have appealed to their native justice and magnanimity. We have conjured them by the ties of our common kindred to disavow these usurpations, which would inevitably interrupt our connections and correspondence. They too have been deaf to the voice of justice and consanguinity. We must therefore acquiesce in the necessity which denounces our separation and hold them as we hold the rest of mankind, enemies in war, in peace, friends. We, therefore, the GOBTQ citizens of the United States of America, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions, do, in the name and by the authority of the good people <coughs> of these states, of the GLBTQ citizens of the United States, solemnly publish and declare that these United States and us as citizens of them and of right ought to be free and independent states, that they are absolved from all allegiance to any religious institution, and that all political connection between them and these institutions is and ought to be totally dissolved, and that as free and independent states and a free and independent people, they have power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, to do all other acts and things which independent states <clears throat> may and rightly do without first assenting to the will of the church or a tyrannical majority. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor to the goal that we stand together again as one nation. We stop asking for our rights now. We demand them. Go out there and demand it.